Hello, hello, familia. Welcome. My name is Magdalene Janet. If you're new, welcome to the fam. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because we're always here having a good time. And come visit me on TikTok and Insta because I'm there daily. And of course, welcome back to all my oh, these look goodies. Oh, uh, itch. Today, I'm not having a good makeup day either. So if you guys see a little bit of things not blending, you know, it's just one of those days. But you just have to keep going, you know? I was asked on one of my, my community posts about my hair. I'm like, you know what? Let's talk about hair. And I also bought this Chi Lava Volcanic thingy a spin and curl Ulta was having a sale maybe like two weeks ago it was kind of like their Ulta 21 days of beauty sale but for hair so a bunch of hair products were 50 percent off so i happened to look at on their site and i saw this and i'm like i need like a new tool to get my hair together let's talk about hair care so my hair is washed i wash my hair usually at night sometimes in the morning but what I do is I wash my hair and I use both of these shampoos. Day shampoo and conditioner, they look crusty because I'm almost out. I really like the day shampoo. The day shampoo really, I feel like, has kept my hair very shiny and it never feels dry. It never feels like it's stripped and that's important. Every other week I use this scrub, this Keratis. It's a scalp scrub. So every other week I'll get a little bit. I get like a good amount. Make sure my hair is wet wet and then lather that all in, especially my scalp. It's like a scrub feeling and it leaves my scalp feeling super clean and my hair super clean. The only thing about this that I was confused when I first used it is your hair has to be wet make sure you wet the product but when it's in your hand not in the container that way you get that good lather a little bit goes a long way this is a little bit pricey it's at sephora that's where i bought it but i've had this for like six months and i still have a good amount i'm gonna actually show you some footage last night i was in my jammy doing my hair routine so after i wash my hair it's wet here as you can see then i go in with this it's a 10 leave-in treatment i make sure i like spray all over my hair i let it like sit in the hair for about a minute and then i brush it out with my wet comb this wet comb right here has been with me for a while it's a little bit beat up but i really like as you can see it just detangles the hair so freaking nice a lot of hair doesn't fall out hair fallout is normal i do always have hair fallout especially when i wash my hair but this is really like gentle and it works very well when your hair is wet because it's a wet comb you know and then here you can see i am just blow drying my hair i like to blow dry my hair kind of this way what is this called upside down down i feel like it gives the hair a little bit of volume i don't like to sleep with wet hair because my grandma used to always say that so i just still listen to her and i just dry my hair slightly but for the most part at night because it's super wet i do blow dry my hair make sure i get like the roots because if i sleep with wet hair my hair is looking like all crazy in the morning and you know i'm always filming and i'm always like trying to be as efficient with my time and if i have funky hair it's just gonna take me longer to fix it at the end you guys know i don't comb my hair at the beginning i always comb my hair at the end you know these are the three main brushes i use daily anytime you guys see my hair slicked back or my hair is down i use the wet comb to detangle my hair when it's wet and then when it's dry and i'm styling it i use this brush it's called like a rat tail comb i got mine at sally's but they're sold anywhere they're like a buck and it just really works especially when you're straining out your hair or if i need to get like little pieces like this like look it just like really gets it nice and flat and then a bore hair comb this is it mine is a conair one i like it because the bristles are not too stiff but they're not too like not stiff so like you get that slick back look so nicely and it's really big so it kind of covers a good amount and it also works well for like your baby hairs if you want to like comb them out it's a little bigger for the baby hairs but it works out for me you know i honestly don't do a lot to my hair and i think that's actually what helps maintain my hair very healthy the one thing i do that i recommend you to do is drink water really get that water intake in because it really affects your hair your skin and everything else but your hair you will find that the more water you drink throughout the day the shinier and automatically healthier your hair gets so that's number one for me number two is do not wash your hair every day i kind of like don't wash my hair often at all i just don't like to that's what has helped my hair be really shiny i wash my hair every seven to ten days i know that seemed like a long time and you're like oh my god that's gross 
does your hair smell? No. For the most part, like I just kind of let my hair be. I let it down for the first two to three days. And then when it's up, it's because it's gotten a little bit on the oily side. But when it gets oily, you can go in with some dry shampoo. I'm not a big dry shampooer. I will use it if I have to, if I want to maintain my hair styled how I already styled it. But for the most part, I'll just wear my hair up and forget like the dry shampoo. But if I am using it, like last week I did use dry shampoo. I used this one. It's at Target. It's for seven bucks, the original scent. I don't like scented things too much. And then I really like this IGK Charcoal Detox Dry Shampoo. And the way dry shampoo works, if you don't know what it is, it essentially dries up and it kind of soaks up the oils that your hair may have. Especially when you don't wash your hair, your hair will just get oily. That's what I do. I'll use this at night. So I'll spray it and you know how there's that white film? Let it sit for like 20 seconds and then like really work it in and you won't have that like white spot. And I find that doing it in the evening and then when you wake up, you know how like you sweat a little bit or there's like warmth going on throughout the night. You'll just see how fresh your hair looks as opposed to doing it in the morning time and dealing with all the white residue. You're not sure if it's going to go away. For the most part at night, if you really blend it in, you won't have that white residue and your hair will be looking fresh to death. I kind of started not washing it because I just got really lazy. And then I just figured my hair looks healthy, it looks shiny, I'm just gonna keep doing that. I'm no hair professional, but I just feel like with your natural oil, your hair just maintains a nice, healthy look. I mean, don't go like 15 days without washing your hair because if I pass 10 days, I start getting dandruff, like a lot of it. So I have to wash my hair at the seven. Usually I'm like between the seven and 10 day mark. If I'm doing like something special and I want clean hair, of course I'll wash it like the fourth day, the third day, the fifth day, but that's rare. <laughs> that's rare. I like to, I, I rock my little dirty hair for a long time. Also the type of hair that I have, I have straight fine hair. My hair strands are very fine, but I have a lot of them. So it makes it look like I have more hair than I do, but I don't have that much hair. And I do dye it. I get it done every like three months. I recently got it just I don't know, re-dyed or whatever, my hairdresser, and then she just trimmed it a little bit. I like my hair to be long, and I like my hair to be dark. I feel like it just complements my brown skin a lot better than lighter hair. I've had lighter hair before, but it's cute like the first month, and literally after that month, I'm like over it, you know? And then talking about not washing your hair, for my baby hairs and stuff not to get wet, I wrap this around like this. You know, I put everything, I go like that and I put a shower cap on. And the shower cap that I use is the Conair ones because the Conair ones really grip this side of your head. I have a very small head, so a lot of those shower caps are loose and they fall off with my little head. The only thing about this shower cap though, it stretches eventually. I have to buy a new one every couple months because it stretches, but for the most part, it works out well. And I just wear it like this with my with this so like i told you guys i got the chi lava i've never purchased like an expensive hair tool i always used to go to sally's and just buy like the cheapy so this is my first one this is the chi one inch volcanic lava ceramic pro spinning curl it retails for $130 i bought mine at ulta this is the most effective heat conducting materials found on earth Volcanic lava combined with the power of cheese ceramic creates bouncy, sleek results without damaging the effects of high heating styling. It's up to 410 degrees. Let's just get this and uh, let's get this hair going. Also, I don't really style my hair often and I try not to put a lot of heat in my hair because I have fine hair. It says to use it at 370. Oh yeah, it's heating up. So the numbers change as it's heating up. You see that? This is going to be, I think, a lot more complicated than I anticipated. <laughs> it's huge. Look. <laughs> this side towards the head. Okay. I also get these at Sally's. And this is where I use this rat tail comb. Comb the hair out. And then it's set to put your... And then we're going to turn it. And then what? Keep it like this. Okay. But I feel like it's curling. It doesn't smell like my hair is... Like burning or anything. Oh! Oh, oops, I forgot to put some of my hot toddy heat protectant. So I use this one from Dry Bar. 
My hairdresser said to always use heat protectant. It's really like curling the hair fast. It says you'll hear four beeps once the curl is set. Oh, there it is. And then you just take it out. Okay. I kind of like that it beeps because I'll keep this in the hair for like ever. I like that you can get a lot of pieces in there. I feel like that's the one thing with hair products. I mean, hair tools. It's not like makeup. Like with makeup, you can kind of see if something works immediately. So I think it's like keeping it really close here. Oh. So used to like a traditional curling iron that I'm just like, what is this? But then I'm like, I kind of like it. We'll definitely never have quinceañera curls, except for this one. If you don't know what that means, back in the day, I don't know if it's still like that. When I was 15, all the salons, like especially in LA, we used to go to a salon off of Pico and like Normandy and did the same hair. And it would be like that super tight, curly quinceañera hair. It's just those curls are too tight. But then also back then, everything would be sprayed completely down. Now, even if you have a quinceañera curl without hairspray, you can kind of just like comb it out and it'll be fine. I'm kind of curious how I'm going to curl the like very top of the, but I think I'm getting the hang of it. I don't know if I'm supposed to manually always do it like this, but we do it. all done. Ooh. It's crazy how like the front, not the front, but like these hairs are getting curlier and I kind of like that. Also, I don't even know what direction my hair is being curled. I know that matters, but and push the button. Oh shit. I just scared myself. Definitely found, ooh, this one came out all funky. Actually, let's see how the hair looks. If we just comb it out. Wow, you guys. Wow, I struggled for no reason. So what you do, <laughs> like the direction said, kind of, I read them halfway. You put your, you put this here, you kind of let the hair fall and then it, bam, I was struggling. Like I was thinking you had to put the hair in, but I'm like, no, it can't be this difficult. In that case, I'll use my old school iron where I like curl it myself. So duh. <laughs> But I'm kind of liking just this natural wave, right? A little puffy here. Hold on, let's get this piece. This was, I think, the piece I was struggling with. Kind of let that fall. The only thing is like the whole direction of the curl. I don't even know which way, but at this point it doesn't matter. And I was looking at um, Ulta, I'm like it has a lot of good reviews, right? And you know, with those reviews, you just kind of don't know. Someone could be, sometimes people just style their hair more than others are better with actual tools like, obviously I'm not the best but I'm like okay I like this it's easy hair doesn't smell like burn and that was one thing my stylist told me because I was like hey how do you take care of hair like for real she's like make sure like these when you have your iron a flat iron or a curling iron the I don't know what this is called but it's not old because when it gets old you'll kind of smell your hair burning as you're straightening it or curling it. And she's like, that's what really breaks hair. I maybe need a little more curls going on, but there's a little bit of volume and my hair doesn't look as flat as we started off with. So that's always the goal for me and my hair. Like I just want a little bit of volume, but I kind of like the messy look. I like it. I think it worked out really well. Of course, there's a learning curve. Okay, you guys, it's day two of my hair wash. <laughs> so I curled my hair again and look how much better it looks today. I found the trick. So you know how you put it here and like you just let the hair drop? If you just hold the hair like this and it rolls, it's gonna roll neatly. And if you make sure the entire hair is rolled in the barrel, you'll get the full curl from like, not your root, but maybe from like here down. What I didn't do yesterday, I didn't have this like roll too long. So I noticed that the ends were straight. Just like this part of my hair was curly and it was straight, curled straight, which that could be a vibe too. That wasn't what we were looking for yesterday. So you hear the beep, you let it go and you see the curl. <gasps> I'm still not knowing which direction, but we're gonna go this way. So make sure it's all in there. Okay. You see? So then what we're gonna do is just curl, I mean not curl, 
comb that out. I let this cool and then I'll comb it out so the curl just stays put. Oh, I love it, I love it. Okay, going back to the outro. I hope this was helpful on like how I maintain my hair as healthy as possible. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and spending a little bit of your day with me. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the button right there. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.